Hey guys, we're gonna implement debounce and throttle using JavaScript. Uh, before going into the coding, let's understand what is debounce and what is throttle. So both debounce and throttle are rate limiting techniques that is used in all the applic all different kinds of applications, including web and JavaScript. First, coming to the debounce, uh, the definition is that it should batch a burst of events and trigger a simple single event what i mean by that is if multiple events are coming one after another then the debounce function is going to stop that events and it will execute only one event after the events stops coming uh, throttling is very simple it is just controlling the flow of events and uh, suppose multiple events are coming then only one event is allowed per time interval. The easiest way to implement debounce and throttle in your application is using some library, utility library such as Lodas. If you go to Lodas website and click on documentation, you can find different kinds of uh, utility functions. And there, if you search debounce, you will get the function. In the function definition, you can find that the first parameter is a function and the second one is wait in time. That means, suppose you have a function that is going to be called multiple times and if you debounce it using this debounce function, so this debounce function is going to return a new debounced function. And you can call the debounced function multiple times. It doesn't matter how many times you call. As soon as you stop, type, stop uh, calling the function again, then after the wait time is over the function is going to be called only once similar way if you search throttle the throttle definition is also same the first parameter is the function internal function and the second one is the wait time this also does the same thing it returns a new throttled function and no matter how many times you call the function uh, it is going to call the throttle uh, the internal function only once per time interval the time interval is the uh, the interval that we provide in the second argument to understand the debounce i have created a very simple demo uh, to implement a debounce in this demo i have one text box where you can type anything and whatever you type that is echoed in the bottom of the page so if i type something here you can see that uh, for every key, pr key press, I am just e echoing the character. But this is quite inefficient that whatever I type, no matter whatever I type, uh, this text box value is being evaluated on every key press. Sometimes we don't want that. We want to execute, we want to evaluate the uh, value of the text box only after I stop typing so that is a common place of debounce here so let's go to the code and implement the debounce function at first I'll start with uh, the utility load as debounce so here in this demo I have a function called echo data and that is doing the job whenever you type something uh, this echo data is going to be called and it will set the log the, the log is being displayed here in the bottom of the text box so what we want to do here is I want to debounce this echo data uh, so that uh, it is called only once after I, ty after I stop typing so let's do that so at first I'm going to import uh, underscore also called load as and then what I want to do is I'm going to change the implementation of this function and I'm going to use the debounce, debounced version of the function. Uh, the time limit can be like 500 millisecond. Now here, just check if I type something after I stop typing, after 500 millisecond, it is coming. But now, instead of using the underscore debounce utility function, we're going to create debounce from scratch. So let's remove the utility load as and create our own debouncer. So I've written a simple debounce function here. 
the first parameter will be a function second one will be wait time now what should the function return it should obviously return a new function a new debounced function so let's return one function one empty function at first so this is the debounced function and what will happen when user is calling the function it should call the internal function fn but you should but you should not call it immediately we should wait for some time and then we'll execute it so that is why i need one set timeout here okay now if you call this function multiple times what's going to happen is the set timeout will be called multiple times and the fn function will be called multiple times we're not batching anything here so to avoid that what we can do is we can clear the timeout whenever multiple requests are coming you can clear those extra timeouts and only use the last last timeout function uh, to execute the function so we can simply just clear the timeout and uh, set a new timeout again so simply we can have one handler uh, so i can call it timeout handler and i need to check if the timeout handler is present or not i need to clear the timeout at first and then create a new timeout clear timeout timeout handler and as you do this if the timeout handler is present so initially it will be null so we need to check that if timeout handler then only do this and after uh, the timeout is executed and after that i need to set it to null as well now i need to modify the actual code data function we are using our own debounce function now if i type something here this error is because of this one so we are not calling our function with the arguments so we need to pass the arguments if i use apply then you can pass the argument the first parameter is context that is null and then arguments uh, there is one problem here because we are using a nested function this is one function and this is the debounced function and we want the arguments of the outer debounced function so we can just we can simply use a variable and stored the arguments I think that is it yeah this is working now after debounce I have created a demo for throttle so in this demo I'm showing the scroll position of the page and if you just start scrolling I'm displaying the scroll position and also if you open the console window you can see that I'm logging how many times this scroll handler is being called see just a single scroll is calling it multiple line like 30 times we don't need that and often the scroll function is uh, really complex and we don't want to execute it for every scroll right so this is a perfect example for throttle uh, so let's implement a throttle function uh, at first using load as and then we're gonna implement it from scratch so here i have a one scroll function and we need to throttle that so first i will use load as to use the throttle function so in a similar to debounce i have to use the throttle function first parameter will be on scroll and then the timeout timeout can be like 300 I'm doing 300 millisecond now if I scroll it you can see that it is only scrolling a uh, few times just seven times but you can't really see the difference see the poison is updating not as frequently as before but it is updating now let's implement this throttle function from scratch so at first let's remove this and we're going to use our own throttle and I'm gonna write that function first parameter will be the function 
uh, that will pass second one will be the wait time here also i'm gonna return the throttled function and definitely we have to wait for some time and then call the internal function so a set timer is required similar to debounce i'm gonna call the function with arguments now one last thing to do is um, here we don't need to clear the timeout but we have to ignore the timeout we have to ignore the subsequent calls if you call the function first time and then in the first call you are setting the set timeout function in the second call if there is a timer already you just ignore it there is throttling so here also we need to store the handler so timeout handler and if timeout handler is there the spelling mistake here and after it is over i need to set the timeout to null i think that's it let's try that it is not working why Okay, first um, oh I forgot to add the time now it should work it is working perfectly fine so if I check the debounce and throttle side by side what we can see here is the structure is almost same both are getting the function as first argument and wait time as second argument both are returning a new function the only difference is that in debounce every time we're going to clear the timeout and then setting a new timeout and in throttle we just ignore it if we are calling if we have one timeout handler then we just ignore the uh, set time out, set time out and just return i hope you found it useful if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below have a good day